Now in this section I'm going to continue my discussion about EIGRP and I want to see the parameters that affect neighborship. First of all, I want to see the timers of EIGRP, the timers that EIGRP use to send packets and the timer that expect the other neighbor to send this hello packets to me so that if I do not have, so for example, hello packets in this duration, I will, uh, you know, declare that neighbor down. First of all, let's see some pieces of information in my verification commands. I want to see show IP protocol command and now you can see that there are not much information about timers here except this pile, this line. EIGRP route hold timer is 240 seconds and this is for NSF routes, not for the you know actual EIGRP neighborship. Let's see some other pieces of information. For example, show IP EIGRP neighbor will tell me about you know uh, which neighbor are here and the whole time that is here. You can see that this is the remaining time that if in this time I do not receive a hello packet from this neighbor I will declare that down. You can see that it is about 11 uh, I type in this again it is about this 11 and 12 seconds and 14 seconds and this is not telling me exactly how much the whole time is but I can tell that this is uh, something about 15 seconds or such. So let's see other pieces of information here. I want to go to show IP EIGRP interface and now you can see that I have an option of having detail information about interface and I type in detail here and the interface name is going to be last so I hit enter now I can see that I am sending my hellos every five seconds on my LAN interface now I can tell that the whole time is three times the hello time so the whole time is gonna be about 15 seconds so this is the time that I am telling to the neighbor that if you do not receive a hello from me in the next 15 seconds you can declare me down and uh, by this I can you know tell you that the hello time is for myself the whole time is for you to know about me so if I want to you know select this I want to I, I should you know use different commands let's go to configuration mode and go to interface fast zero zero and now you can see that I need to have IP hello time hello interval and this is going to be for EIGRP AS100 and now I should add a value of 1 to 65,000 I want it to be about 3 seconds and by telling this I want to have faster convergence that means I want to know about network sooner and I hit enter now if I do not send you know if I do not send my uh, I, I'm sending my packets every three seconds to my neighbor and you can see that this has no effect on the neighborship it doesn't bring my neighborship down so the hello time and you know hold time is not an important feature in EIGRP although they are important in you know OSPF so if I want to change my hold time, I can go and add IP hold time for EIGRP 100 about, for example, 8 seconds. And I, th I hit enter. Now that I have this piece of information, I will go to the neighbor that is, uh, you know, on my fast 00. zero. I my fast 00, zero, I am neighbor, let's see with which router I'm neighbor, show IP EIGRP neighbor will tell me that I am neighbor with uh, 10 0 16 6 and that's gonna be my switch too so if I go here and check the result of show IP EIGRP neighbors you can see that now the whole time is something below 8 seconds and it will never go over 8 you can see that this is 6 7 and it's never gonna be over 8 seconds so I know that uh, in uh, three seconds I will receive a hello and now I will declare that uh, router that is going to be router 1 down 
if it send if it doesn't send me a hello in eight seconds because it has told me to do so. So you know how to change the timers for a specific interface. Let's go to rather eigrp hundred process and see what commands are here. You can see that there is no timers uh, available here except this. You have timers command and this is for active time and non-stop forwarding. And for non-stop forwarding uh, in show IP protocol result you, uh, you, you saw that it is about 250 seconds. So if you want to check this and change this you can do this right here. But the active time. What is the active time? If I do not have a route for a specific destination I will ask the neighbors and in my topology table I will mark that route as active and as I told you it is not good to see an active route in your topology table that means I do not have a better route and I'm asking my neighbors and my neighbors may not know about that destination so this is not good to see an active route in routing in topology table but here uh, I will wait for the answer for you know an unlimited time so uh, this is not good I will have an active time configured here so that whenever I do not have information about a specific destination I will declare that as a destination you know down and I will you know uh, empty my topology table from that specific route so I can go and um, you know define this active time and for this I type in active time and you can see that I can disable the active time or I can uh, talk about for example 10 minutes of active time for this and type in enter and now this is configured for me so this is the only thing that I want to have okay I want to disable this and the only piece of uh, the other piece of information I know that I am sending hello uh, you know out every interface that is participating in EIGRP um, process I can you know stop this uh, this means I want to have information about one specific network in my topology table for example about my fast zero zero but I don't want this interface to have neighbors so I stop sending hello out that interface and that inf interface's information is just for writing destination not for creating a neighborship for that I should use that interface as passive interface and to do this under router process I can type in passive interface now you can see that I can add the interface that I want to have it as passive for example fast zero zero and if I type in enter you can see that the neighborship is going down because I do not send any hello or that interface and this is very nice feature whenever you want to have one interface and the network in your routing table as EIGRP route but you do not want that interface to be part of you know uh, forwarding or anything else for your EIGRP network now if you want to have every interface as passive you can type in passive interface and next thing is going to use default or do you have default yes this is default and if I add this so hit enter every interface on my router will be passive and now I can use no passive interface to add interfaces to my you know neighborship process so I can for example tell that I want every interface to be passive but I want pass 00, zero to be active so I use no passive interface fast zero zero and this is a very good feature whenever you have a lot of interfaces and you want all these interfaces to be passive but you want just one or two interfaces to be active so I uh, first uh, type in passive interface default and then go to activate one by one so let's type in no passive interface default and hit enter and see what we have in our configuration right now by using show running config and piping it to section router EIGRP I can see that my configuration is 
uh, you know, containing a line of passive interface or not. No, there is no passive interface yet. So you know how you can change timers and that is going to be under interface. And you know how to add or, you know, remove an interface from creating neighborship or adjacency with other routers right now.